Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. Last time when we left off, Atreus was forced to kill a Reaver, uh, an actual human, not a Draugr. And he's still in shock over that fact. And to make matters worse, uh, the Reavers who we killed in this arena have re-risen as uh, these Ice Draugr, these White Walkers. Trey is still in shock over there. Unable to even help out. They came back. The... They came back. It is finished. I want to leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. Here, that chain. Go drop the chain. Okay. The way they slow everything down and bring the energy level of Atreus down really, really makes this scene all the more powerful. Atreus, the chain. The chain, right. And now he gets lost inside his thoughts and distracted. You are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. I do know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no. I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. And the really tragic part of this, I think, is how desperate he is, I think, not to let his dad down. Listen to me. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. And there's a really strong contrast between that scene where he has to kill an actual human and when he's just going ballistic on the monster earlier. you waiting for come on already let's go can't get this slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge it's because she's scared of something in the trees over there there's what now father throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge the ones with the white trunks Oh, we finally get to meet him! Uh, this is one of my favorite characters in the game. <laughs> Trust me, just this once. This... This is... Tobias Fume K. Uh, so his animal is spooked by something. Right there on the other side of the bridge. You're right. Must be smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. <laughs> Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. Ah! You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. 
I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah. You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger beast, ya timber. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! What'll it be? All this tutorial stuff is a long way of introducing you to the game's crafting and upgrading menus. Uh, which is more straightforward than it probably looks from just the barrage of things on screen. So instead of leveling Kratos up himself to unlock new abilities, you receive uh, frozen flames periodically to upgrade the Leviathan Axe. And each time you level it up, you get to spend experience on new axe abilities. Uh, you can also craft stuff for Atreus, which modifies uh, his stats a little bit, like his melee damage, and when he is grappling an enemy, you do more damage to them with this uh, armor set for him. You can also upgrade your own armor, uh, the runic attacks, along with Atreus's bow and quiver. We'll get into more of that in a bit. Also, this is my favorite feature in the whole game. It's the Lost Items tab. If you miss drops or if enemies fall off of cliffs and you can't loot them, that loot goes here so you can retrieve it later. Go on, give that action twirl. And Atreus still isn't ready to rejoin us in combat, which gives us a chance to try the new axe out, which is not substantially different uh, stat-wise. Uh, it's a slightly noticeable upgrade just in the numbers it puts out. The real point of upgrading the axe, though, is to unlock new abilities with your experience, uh, which we'll be doing in a little bit. <laughs> God, I love rock. Uh, also, I really like that. I actually forgot you could do that. I remembered that you can shatter enemies who are frozen with the axe. Uh, I forgot you could kick them into walls to make them shatter more easily. Uh, someone in the comments has been pointing that out. Your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Want to see my wares again? Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. Guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road. Sorry. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual complimented dead assholes lately. We've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. No more dialogue from Brock, for the time being. Uh, so we'll get into more of the specifics of crafting and the stats uh, of the game when it's a little bit more relevant. All we really need to do right now is understand that if you have the materials, you make the numbers go up, and you can unlock some skills. Or craft uh, a couple of different pieces. I think nice you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking grass? <laughs> Fucking gratitude. Come over here. I like <laughs> yeah, I think we have waist armor, shoulder pads, uh, chest armor. 
Eventually, we'll be able to craft pommels for the axe. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight and we go home. I understand. Good then. We open that gate just a little bit wider by hitting it in the corner with the axe toss. Uh, and this reveals a chest to us. Uh, that looks inviting. What Atreus is talking about is this room with a big ass spiked ceiling. So we're going to continue to rotate this, uh, freeze this first so the ceiling doesn't drop on us, then leap the gap. Wait there. So the spikes can hurt the enemies. It's not an instant kill or anything like that, like you might think. Uh, it's. I was really hoping it would be more like a cinematic impale uh, the first time I saw it, like the uh, the PS2 Mortal Kombat stages. Uh, if you want, though, you can kick them into it. The pits are a little bit more effective, though, since they are instant kills. They just fall into the world. It's not great looking. Oh, can't pick that chest up in combat. Still got a bunch of these frail fire tossers. They are annoying, though. And you get that warning that projectile is coming your way nice and far in advance. We just have to leap the gap again. Get these two. Could call the axe back, but I don't feel like spinning the, the mechanism again. <laughs> and these guys are pretty weak, and they stun very easily. I think the spikes actually build up uh, quite a bit of stun. They don't do that much damage if you knock them into it, but I think the stun went up pretty dramatically. Uh, now we got one more of you. There is a pit here. I wonder if this has... Nope, no invisible wall. Okay, we need to call the axe back now and be really quick about hitting this a few times. Just push the gate open. And we can climb up. And this kills two birds with one stone because if you turn around and you wait for this to drop all the way, you can actually get on top of the spike wall, uh, the spike ceiling. Wasn't sure we're gonna get out of there. Trust I will not let us die. Aw. Uh, and they cleverly conceal a Nornier chest up here, and a regular hack silver one. By the way, Brock and Sindri are uh, from actual Norse mythos. They are, among other things, the crafters of Odin. Uh, sorry, not Odin. Thor's hammer. Uh, there's our final seal for this chest, so we can get our second apple of Ythun. Somebody try to correct my pronunciation of that just a little bit. Um. There's a subtlety I missed, which is that the this D way. is kind of like a soft TH kind of sound. That could be valuable. That transitions into into a D or something to that effect. So less Ithun, more it or less Idun, more Dun. Wow. Never been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. Mama's here to see it. Come, oh boy. This is the second time you went for that. Kind of half hug and then hesitated. Ooh, good fun. The first time he was interrupted. The hey, second look. time was all him. What is it? Boy. Look, there are runes written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. Yep, we have to come up here and then turn a crank to get the runes on the door spinning. 
Seems like maybe those rings should be turning. The rings are turning. Come back down. Now, part two of the puzzle is stopping each uh, layer of the rings such that they will line up. There are three rings turning. That part's right. Now we have to do the middle part, which we can freeze here. And I think the next time they line up here is where I need to take it out. Yep, that's perfect. Carve the answer, boy. Oh, whoops. Boy, what do those runes say? Oh, it says family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinslow. Something happened! I'm happy with my Brock, but I'm happier we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. Physically and figuratively. Uh, you know what? Let me check this out. Uh, this is just kind of telling us that Brock and or any other merchants we meet will probably pay good money for this. These are just, they're basically vendor trash. Uh, but some people were asking me at least briefly show when we get pop-ups like that for new lore. Uh, especially when enemies show up, I guess. I'll try to keep it in mind. Usually I just tune those alerts out because there tend to be so many of them. But for the sake of the LP, I'll try not to as much. Boy. These tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure. But I'll find it. Go. It is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp. Alright, so we're gonna hunt a boar. And we got another one of these. Uh, this one is slightly differently skinned from the other one, but he has the exact same moveset. Uh, except I think this one has... I think a better shot at inflicting fire on you, and we also get some ads. Ooh, I missed that one terribly. I think the fire attack is new? I'm not sure if the other one could do that if you get too far away from him. There's not much of a cause to be far away from the other one. So it doesn't come up. Boy isn't confident in grappling this one just yet, so... I'm just gonna use him as an ebony and ivory. Oop, he left a puddle of fire on the ground, too. That is gonna make me pop rage, because... Uh, that hurt. That hurt pretty bad. Oh, the ads actually make this real annoying. And then you risk taking quite a bit of damage if you stop to take them out, but... Leaves you not all that much choice. Oh, you can do friendly fire with that. Ah! Speaking of fire... Did pick up uh, a rage pickup. So we can just go and pop this again. And we're at full health anyway. Might have been a little bit more efficient to use this once I had taken a few more hits, but eh. this will just make the fight go quicker. And you would get out of the way. Yeah, that works. Hit him from behind with a runic attack. Oh, and he's in this phase where he starts flailing it around. Well, well, he does that. Take one of the ads out here. Uh, the boy apparently got hit. So he doesn't have a health bar, but he can be grabbed by enemies sometimes, and more importantly, he can also just take hits uh, and lose his, his firing functionality for a little while. Damn, that's a good kill. Yeah, 
Not a terrible fight. And there's some other important features. Oh, yeah, and we get Evaldi's Anvil, which is our heavy runic attack. So R1 and, uh, sorry, L1 and R2 will activate that, and we'll see that uh, the next time we get into a fight. Boy, I hear your animal ahead. I knew it was a boar. All right, so this is the critical path on the hunt for the boar. Here, what does it say? The rune symbolized the three Nornir. Nornir? The fates. The fates. No good comes from them. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, calling back to, I think God of War 2 is when you fight the, uh, the fates. The Greek fates. Uh, so we have a new type of Nornir chest. This one, we don't break seals. We have, uh, a bunch of, uh, gongs we have to sound with the axe. And the key difference here is that you have to do it all within a certain time limit. Once you hit the first one, you have like, I don't know, 10 seconds or so to get all three. And that's our third apple. Which means, woo, look at how much health you get from that. It's substantial. It doesn't feel like a puny upgrade, which I like. I appreciate that a lot. And we will wait for him to drop the chain. Sure, there's something worthwhile up there. I don't think this is just a shortcut back, but it might be. I think there is a chest or something up here. Oh, no, there's lore up here. Good. Boy, over here. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down. And let's read that. Find Hero Sacrifice, Mighty Allfather, and deliver Midgard from Hell's Wild Hunt. Odin, wisest of all, whose breath gave life to Ask and Embla, first among our people, we beg your protection. Send forth your noble Valkyries and call the Deathless. Send forth your noble sons, Thor and Balder, to shield us. Send forth dragons to consume the frigid horde. Save our souls that so we may serve you evermore. I don't think Odin got the message, or he didn't care. So, all of these lore entries, uh, everything in the Codex is written from Atreus's perspective. And that's where we're going to leave off today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share, and favor, and all that good stuff. Do all the things in the description, too. Yay!